Today I wanted to go over some new concepts, Kwanyongo and Sokdam. But I should give you a disclaimer first. They're not for first time Korean learners. But once you've got a good basic understanding of the Korean language, they're definitely going to be helpful. I picked out a few that I feel are especially important and are also actually used by Koreans. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at the Kwanyongo. Nune itta. Before I go over what this can mean, let's break up the parts. We've got nun, which means I, e, which means on or in, and the verb ikta, which means to be familiar. Just putting the words together, we can get something like to be familiar to the eye, which is exactly what this phrase means. Specifically, it means to be familiar or to look familiar, and you can use it in the same situations you'd use it in English. Ku kurimi nune igoyo. That picture looks familiar. I saw a familiar face. Now let's go to the sokdam. Let's break it up into pieces so we can understand it. First, we have the verb dupta, which means to lie down. Here, it's conjugated with sa, meaning and. Then we have tok, which means rice cake, and bokki, which means eating, from the verb bokta, to eat. Putting the pieces together gets us the meaning lying down and eating rice cake. We actually have a similar expression in English as well, a piece of cake, because there's nothing easier than lying down and eating a rice cake. Kugon. That's a piece of cake for me. Next time we'll go over some more Kwanyongo and Sokdam, so check back again for new videos. Also, new videos are posted every week, so click subscribe and follow along.